Welcome, Panther fans, to another edition of Panther Preview. Coach, you got Wayne County, and we got homecoming in our windshield. Uh, oh, yeah. Tell me a little bit about Wayne County. You know, Wayne County's tough. You know, they, they always play hard up there. They've got a really good quarterback, really good running back. The offensive line gets after you for four quarters. Defensively, they're a 3-4, three, 3 stack team. They will um, attack you from all different angles, put a lot of pressure on you, and they just play so daggum hard. Coach Hankins came over. This will be his uh, second year. Uh, as head coach of Wayne County, he came over from Thomasville, Alabama, and so uh, he's really done a great job of getting those guys ready to play and and instilling some some just uh, you know just getting after you. That's that's what they do, and they they run uh, some different schemes. They'll go four wide, they'll go trips formation, they'll also run some versions of the wing T, try to get you out uh, you know outflank you with their jets. Which um, you know we played them last year, and it was their first game of the year coming off of COVID and. You know, uh, they, they caught us on a lot of their edge stuff. So um, something that we actually forced us as a coaching staff to evaluate how we defend those kinds of things. And we've spent the last year working on uh, our perimeter defense and doing some things every day in practice that kind of help with that. And uh, just, just really looking forward to coming out and enjoying the homecoming festivities. And, um, but uh, look forward to a great football game Friday night. Usually, uh, if, if I remember correctly, they, they make their living with the ground and pound, but they'll come up and throw the ball. I yeah, mean. they will. They they throw the ball. Uh, you know, um, Hankins, or their, their quarterback, throws a really good ball, and uh, they've got some receivers that can stretch the field on you, so it's going to force us to be very balanced on defense. Offensively, we just got to execute. We've got to take advantage of what they do give us, hold on, protect the football and uh, just sustain drives and finish drives. One of the things that we've really talked about over the open week was finishing drives. You know, that's, that's the one thing that if we had, had collectively in our last two ball games that we didn't do, it was we didn't finish drives when we had opportunities. We didn't take advantage of our turnovers that we forced defensively, and we've got to do that uh, offensively to, to go out and compete, especially in our region play, but even more so against a, such a worthy opponent as Wayne County. Well, this is our last uh, region. I'm sorry, non-region game. So, yep. if it's something that we've got to we've got to fine tune, it's got to be fine tuned this week. Um, and we, you know, we've got homecoming that mm -hmm. Friday night also. So, tell us a little bit about how you're keeping right. the kids. Well, I should say, I say kids, but let's get, uh, keep it young men, focused. young men. Yeah, there keeping them go. focused. Well, number one, it, it is high school homecoming, and, and I want them to have a good time. I want them to go out and enjoy the festivities. Uh, speaking of festivities, our homecoming parade is going to be Wednesday afternoon at 5:30. Uh, it's going to be the normal parade route. For those of you who know what that is, it'll start out here, I believe, on uh, Tucker Street. And it'll go down Market Street and make a left down uh, Jackson, I believe, and then it'll end over um, over by uh, Hancock, the old Hancock Bank building there downtown, which I think is a great, great little trip for us. And uh, you know, some a lot of good things going on down there for that. We uh, so that's on Wednesday. On uh, Thursday, of course, they'll have the uh, homecoming practice out here after after school. They'll get out here and practice. Then on Friday. Uh, the homecoming court will start at 6.50. So uh, I think there's 28 members of the homecoming court this year. So uh, that'll start at 6.50. We'll kick off with our captains at 7.25. They'll come out, kick off the game at 7.30. Uh, so the homecoming festivities will take place before the game starts, which is a great thing because now you don't have to worry about compressing everything to that 20-minute time limit at halftime. So uh, just looking real forward to it. We've got a lot of good dress-out days going on. We, you know, Monday was our Decades Day, Tuesday's Nerd Day, Wednesday's uh, you know, uh, Cashola Day, uh, the Millionaire Day, Dress Like a Million Bucks. Uh, Thursday, again, I forget what Thursday is, but then Friday's wear your homecoming shirts to school. And, and uh, you know, it, it's always fun to see the kids get involved and get excited about homecoming. The one thing we tell our guys is make sure that they understand this, that that homecoming is a great thing, but you got to be wary of some of the things that go on with homecoming. Uh, you know, there, I, I've had kids miss homecoming games before because of incidents or accidents that they've had throughout this homecoming week. So just be smart, you know, um, you know don't destroy anybody's property. Don't do anything you wouldn't want somebody to do to your own house. And uh, we you never know, did. <laughs> well, we you know, did. little little toilet paper never yeah, hurts you. Little you know, paper. little toilet paper never hurts you. you know, when it gets beyond that, to me, it's a it, it's starting to cross the line a little bit. But I think kids are understanding now how how um, everything goes. I know uh, Frank's got a 
just had a senior and he's got a sophomore, so he, he's been through it all. And doorbell cameras, they, they, yo, they doorbell they cameras stop a help lot. out. They do, and having cameras around, people are a lot more uh, leery and wary and aware of what's going on there. So, but just be smart, have fun within reason. But but when it comes to destroying property or destroying physically doing things that that can harm other people or yourself, you know that's the thing where you have to draw the line. But we want them to have a good time. We want them to enjoy themselves. We want them to have a fun time at school. Uh, we want them to have a fun time. I think the, the dance was successful. They had a really good time at the dance on, on this past Friday night. And enjoy your dress out days and enjoy the camaraderie you have for you seniors. For a lot of guys, this is their last homecoming. The next time they come back, it'll be as an alumni. And I think as you get older, coming back as an alumni, it's a really good thing. You get to see all the guys you used to go to school with, gals you used to go to, go to school with, and just brings back a lot of, a lot of, uh, memories from those old days and very nostalgic for us and so uh, focus at the end of the week there is a football game that has to be played and uh, they don't care who the queen is wayne county could care less who the queen is uh, they care about you know winning on that scoreboard and we're going to go out and compete to the very best of our ability well homecoming's always a lot of fun and i personally i'm glad we're getting past homecoming before we enter region play you know that's always a big concern of the distractions that come with it but uh again you know <laughs> wayne county's coming to play the, yeah. those those rascals are going to play four quarters Corn 48 bread minutes eating, collard uh, green uh, eating. tell you what they are boys. they are some tough some tough rascals up there and they're going to play four four quarters of jack hankins football and you better get ready for 48 minutes of, of, of just bringing it Tell us a bit about this ticket sales. Ticket sales are just like always. You can get them online through GoFan or you can get them in person at the gate. Uh, $7 and $6. I think it's $7 on GoFan, $6 at the gate. Uh, so uh, get them, come out. You can get them from, uh, I think, the central office. Ms. Weber has them over there. You can get them early. Students will be able to buy tickets uh, during lunch, I think, on uh, Friday. Uh, they'll be able to uh, buy those tickets on lunch, but we look forward to everybody coming out, filling the stadium, and and uh, you know let 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 the War Memorial Stadium be full for a homecoming on Friday night. Right. Uh, hey, look, Panther fans, uh, don't forget about the Panther or the breakfast with the coach uh, Friday morning at seven o'clock. It's at uh, Paradise, Paradise Cafe, yep. Paradise Grill, Paradise Cafe. Yep. It's downtown Pascagoula. You know where it is. Uh, other than that, we want your butts in the seats. We, hey, we want the fans out here cheering for you, Panthers. If you can't be here, join me on YouTube Live or Facebook Live on, for CPM football, Pascal Panther football live right there. CPM ready to put ready to, ready to rock and roll for Friday Friday night, man. So we'll see you Friday night.